Pandas truly is the best. I really like it. It just makes my life so much easier. And in general, I feel like whenever I need a function to do something to my data, they have exactly what I need. I don't even have to write more than one line of code. So this is perfect. But of course, I didn't think so when I first started data science or especially when I started using Pandas. There is definitely a steepish, I would say, learning curve. There are some specific fundamentals that you have to understand about Pandas to be able to use it comfortably. So that's why I thought maybe I'll give you some tips and tricks that I've learned along the way through my career that I wish I had known when I was just a beginner. The first thing that really helped me when I learned it is that Panda's backbones are two objects. One of them is called a data frame and the other one is a series. So here in this notebook, you can see that I already imported pandas and I created a small toy data set for myself. Here, what we see is a data frame. Everything, all the columns, all the rows, this is a data frame. It's just a Python object, like an integer, like a string. And series are basically the columns. Every column is a series object. And how you do, how you make a data frame is by basically plucking several series objects together. So just to show you what I mean by that, if you type type on Python and you just put an object in it, it will tell you the type of the object. So if I put 10, it says integer. If I put my user's data frame, it says this is a pandas data frame. What if I use, what if I put uh -huh. the age column? So this returns a column. Or maybe I'll show you that it returns a column first. If I do this, it returns me the column. And the type of this column is a series object. So basically, that's these things, these two objects are the building blocks for the pandas library. And this is important because how pandas works is you have a data frame that consists of series objects and you want to do things to it, right? There are pandas, pandas functions that you want to apply on your data set or your data frame. So let me show you how it's important. We have the drop duplicates function. How it works is if I put the user's data frame and I say drop duplicates, it actually drops the data points that have any duplicate value. Doesn't drop, didn't drop anything because this is duplicate, but everything, the whole thing needs to be duplicate. Okay, this is not important. But what we see here is that this drop duplicates function applies to a data frame object. And you see that it returns a data frame object too. But there is also a way how you can apply this on a series object. As you can see, there is another drop duplicates function that applies to series objects and actually returns series objects. Let's try it. Then I would say users age drop duplicates. And yeah, it did return me a series object, but this time it only returned three of them because one of them is a duplicate. This made my life so much easier when I realized that there are some functions that work on only data frames. There are some functions that work on only series objects. There are some functions that work on both. But then there are also some functions that return series objects and there are some that return pandas data frames. So once you understand what goes in, what, what comes out, it's basically like an in and out thing. It makes it much easier for you to understand how everything works and how you can bring them together. Because that's basically what pandas is. There are a lot of functions and the main objects are data frames and series. And you want to do things to your data frame or your series using these functions. So you want to plug them together to achieve the end result that you want. This has been Panda Secrets that will make your life easier as a beginner. But if you're interested in learning about the functions of pandas and how they're used, go ahead and check out my pandas common functions cheat sheet. There I have definitions on, you know, on functions that will deal with missing values or deal with duplicates, or you can learn how you can change the values of the data frame. So I'll give you the definitions and the functions and also some extra tips and tricks that I don't talk about here. So go ahead and check that out. I will make sure to leave a link in the description of this video.